hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing very very well today i'm bringing you all a h&m haul first h&m haul of 2022 so i am very excited to show you all of these bits i apologize if you hear any background noise Jack is next door and he's on the phone and yeah this haul is going to be quite neutral right up my street so if you are a neutral lover then you're going to love this haul if you like a bit more colour then go and check out my previous haul which is an under the stories haul and I show a lot more colour um, a lot more pastel fun colours there as well I will link that video in the description box and as always if you're brand new to my channel hi my name is Josephine I love creating fashion content here on YouTube so so if you like the sound of that then definitely subscribe and if not then just give this video a like and um, because it really helps to push my videos out on the youtube algorithm for your reference i am 5 for 8 172 centimeters tall i will have everything linked in the description box and yeah let's get started i'm going to be showing these items in order of my favorite so my most favorite item i'll show first and then because i know some of you guys don't watch to the end so i want to help you out and show you guys my favorite thing i have been on the lookout for a good pair of off-white cream trousers i've been looking for a while and i just haven't found the right pair when it comes to trousers i'm very picky when it comes to the fit i do i pretty much accept that most trousers won't fit me perfectly and um, but the material has to be right they have to be comfortable because i like to wear them casually anyway i saw these ones on the h&m website and honestly they are my favorite item in this haul first of all the material is this really nice kind of it has a nice weight to it so it falls really nicely it's also a really good length for me where i can wear trainers with it and it doesn't drag too much bear in mind i am five foot eight so if you are shorter then you may need these trousers tailored speaking of tailoring i think i will have to get these trousers tailored myself because the waist on them is a little bit big i really like these trousers i love the fit of them i obviously like the color of them um and i think these are worth keeping and tailoring them so that they fit me perfectly i style these trousers in numerous different ways all the outfits are relatively neutral because i just think this looks best with neutral tones but i also have a pink jumper from from H&M which I think would work really well with these trousers as well and if I haven't already mentioned I put these trousers up in a size 12. Sticking to the same colour theme I also saw this coat on the H&M website and it unfortunately it is running it is running quite low in stock so I'm guessing this coat has been very popular because it came out about a week ago and it's pretty much sold out there's a few sizes left I will leave both I will leave both UK and US links I find that the US website has much better stock but then sometimes they don't have things that we have here in the UK and Europe. Anyway I saw this coat and I was like oh I don't need any more coats. We are kind of coming out of winter. I thought I don't really need any more coats. Um, I don't tend to buy much wintry items after December because I'm like how much use am I actually going to get out of them but to be honest I do live in the UK the winters here are long and I think I probably will still be wearing a coat even in like March April time so yeah this is just a cream coat it's very very simple I have a greyish coat it's like a grey beige coat and as beautiful as beautiful as that is I just think sometimes you just need a cream coat I feel like everybody needs a cream coat a black coat a camel coat those are the three colours which I think um everybody needs in their wardrobe <laughs> oh sorry about the dog noise as well um anyway i picked up this coat in a size small so i would say when it comes to this coat size down i'm usually a medium and the medium is huge and um one of my friends also picked up this coat as well and she got a medium and she was like the medium's huge so i took her advice and i got it in a size small i actually ended up getting this one in store just because they had no sizes available online the next items i'm going to be showing you uh, is this suit so i have i just i saw this suit on the website and i thought it looked really really cute and it just looked great on the model so i wanted to try it out myself and see what i thought because um zara do suits in this color but i find that h&m prices are a lot more reasonable and the quality of them is pretty much the same so yeah i picked up this suit in this beautiful nudie um 
I don't know how to describe this nude colour and it's certainly not showing its true colour on camera. It's just like a classic nude colour, um, nothing remarkable about the colour but right up my street. So these are what the trousers look like. So on the website they look pretty straight leg on the model and they just look like a straight leg but actually trying these trousers on they have like a, a kick flare look to them. So they're very tight on the thigh so a bit too tight and then they flare out at the bottom. I don't feel like the fit in these trousers flatters me or it's good. It looks very tight. It feels very tight. It's quite uncomfortable. Um, but yeah, it's too tight on my thighs. I went for my usual size. I went for my usual size 12. Um, so usually 12 fits me. but um, And I got a 12 in the first trousers, the cream trousers which I uh, showed you and they fit perfectly, they're actually a little bit too big on the waist. These ones fit very very snug so sizes can differ and then when it comes to the blazer I actually really really like the blazer but I don't but I can't justify keeping the blazer without the trousers just because I actually picked up a blazer from our care towards the end of 2021 I picked up a very similar blazer from our care and the color is very similar the fit is very similar um so I can't justify keeping this without the trousers because that was the whole point is to have a full suit but the blazer overall I'm really happy with um I think it would actually be a really good dupe for the one that I have from our care I got it in a size medium and the size medium fits really nicely it's a nice um, boyfriend boxy fit which I love in blazers because um, I've actually managed to layer knits underneath this so for me it's quite transitional but yeah I love the overall look of the suit um, but yeah the trousers don't fit I could size up but there's other things that I like more in this haul so I'm just gonna I don't think I'm gonna keep this when I saw this dress on the H&M website I was like oh this might be my um this will be the perfect evening outfit i love wearing knitted dresses i love all sorts of knitted dresses um casual ones and even more dressy ones like this one so i love the silhouette of this dress it's very um form fitting very feminine and it also has these tassel details on the um zip at the front and also on the sleeves i think the ones on the sleeves could be quite annoying like imagine if you go out for dinner and then you get some food on these tassels. I can imagine that being quite annoying. The sleeves also do have a nice zip on the side as well. Overall, it's a really nice dress. I surprisingly actually like the way that this fits. I styled it up with some just plain black heels. And I think this would be a really nice wintry date night outfit. And um, just because it's too cold to wear proper, you know, proper going out dresses. Um, or proper evening dresses. I think in winter I would just... It's just too cold. Um, so yeah, I prefer wintry dresses like this. I think it's so beautiful. And for your reference, I picked this dress up in a size medium, which fits perfectly. And then the very final thing I'm gonna be showing you all is the reason for this haul, but unfortunately, it's probably one of my least, it, it is my least favorite item in this haul, bar the trousers, because they don't fit well. Um, yeah, I had high expectations for this. I think they call it a boucle jacket. I mentioned in my previous haul that I have been loving the whole um, Chanel ready to wear dupes that the high street are currently doing. Zara is really good at doing this. Um, but I saw this one on h and I was like, okay, for me, <laughs> I usually have to have quite a few items in my basket or in my favourite section for me to place an order and when I saw this jacket I was like I'm ready to place the order I'm ready to place my order but yeah I don't love it so first of all I love the look of it it's this really nice tweed jacket beautiful cream neutral colour it has some gold buttons which again I really like it's a longer length which again I really like it kind of gives me that more um, relaxed feel which I enjoy and just really like however I picked it up in a size large maybe I should maybe I should have just gone for my usual medium um the large it definitely fits bigger which I like because I like to fit knits and stuff like that underneath however again I think it's just too much material and because it's tweed you can I just think it looks too much I don't love it but I feel like if I got it in a medium it would be too tight which is just not my vibe <sighs> I don't love it. I don't love this jacket and I don't think I would love it even if I got it in a medium. So this one is going to be going back. One thing that I do like about it and I would still recommend it if you like this kind of tweed jacket style is 
um i would say that the price of it is really good i think it was 39 pounds so 40 pounds for a tweed jacket is such a good price i think that is just such a good high street price and that's why i love h&m because um i just think their quality is just as good as zara but they are more inexpensive so i like h&m for that however i don't love this jacket and um as we are kind of slowly coming out of winter um i yeah i like the tweed trend but i'm not sure whether i'm going to be um buying more items now that we're kind of slowly or wishfully actually <laughs> now that i'm now that we're wishfully going towards spring i think i'm just gonna leave the tweed jackets there i have a couple in my wardrobe now and i think i'm just gonna leave it there okay guys that was my h&m haul i really hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you loved all the outfits that i have showed you i've tried to style these pieces up in different ways as well just to show you how versatile they are especially the first trousers which i showed you which is your favorite item in this haul leave me a comment in the in the description box i will speak to you all very very soon thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch you all in my next one bye